Good morning. So we are currently on the ferry heading from Tallinn to Helsinki today. Not only is the ferry from Tallinn to Helsinki the most recommended way to travel, but it's also the coolest, most fun, most relaxing, and most cost efficient way to travel across the Baltic Sea. So if you're just joining us, Manny and I are traveling through Europe looking for our holiday winter wonderland. We've gone from London to Copenhagen to Tallinn, and now we're on the ferry heading to Helsinki. We were traveling on the Tallink Sila and their shuttle Starship. So our ticket is the Comfort Premium ticket, and that ticket allows us snacks and some free drinks. I booked us in the Comfort Lounge. I had booked our tickets online ahead of time on the Direct Ferries website because this is a super popular way to travel and ferries do sell out. You had your choice of deck seats, which were included, the comfort lounge, which was what I chose, which included snacks and drinks, or the business lounge, which included a buffet and drinks. The difference in price from the deck seats, which were included to the comfort lounge, was about $30 per person. We thought with it being December and a two hour trip, that this would be the best option for us. Prices are just like European trains. They vary based on time and demand. Our total cost was $120.53 USD, which was cheaper than flying. We left the Talon D terminal at Usus Sadama. Last check-in was 30 minutes prior to departure and check-in was super easy. We were just required to show our reservation and passports. Once we boarded, we headed for the top deck, which was deck nine, and where the comfort lounge was located, in which was just past the sunset bar. And all I could think is, wow, this is a ferry? This ship felt more like a small cruise ship. First thing in the lounge was for me to grab some breakfast. The snacks in the comfort lounge were actually a decent spread. There were some veggies, meats, and cheeses to breads, crackers, chips, nuts, dried fruits, and juices, sodas, hot drinks, and alcohol. grabbed a hot chocolate, some bread, and some meat and cheese. Once we got going, it was time to check out this ship. I headed to deck 7 to go and check out the duty free. First stop was inside the perfume shop, which was fully stocked with world class brands of cosmetics and hair products. Across the way from there was the trend shop, where you could find clothing and a variety of accessories such as sunglasses, shades, purses, and jewelry. From there, I headed for the supermarket. And what a supermarket it was! From every kind of chocolate and candy, to backpacks and all of your travel needs, to tons of alcohol and snacks. They even had, which I had never even seen before, CBD potato chips that were labeled adults only and were 20 euro.
they even had a section of toys for the kids. After that, I headed to check out the Sea Pub. And not only did I find a cozy little pub where you could enjoy different kinds of snacks and drinks, but I also found that there were some casino video slot machines in there as well. On that deck, there was also the business lounge, an information center, and a sun deck, which wasn't so sunny, more like freezing, but I had to check it out, even if it was just for a minute. On deck eight, there were some lockers for luggage, and the a la carte snack time, as well as the delight buffet. I checked out the a la carte snack time first. They had some hot breakfast items and then a cold section with baguettes, sandwiches, salads, pastries, drinks, and several other grab and go selections. The Delight Buffet offered tables of starters, main courses, as well as dessert tables. They also offered soft drinks, coffee, tea, beer, and wine, which were all included in the price. Meal purchases could be made in person or in advance, and if you booked it in advance, you'd save two or three euro. For adults, the sea breakfast was 20 euro, late breakfast was 23 euro, and the later buffet was 29 euro. Back on deck nine, there were more video casino games, a Starbucks and a Burger King, a little kid's play area inside of it, as well as a video game room for the big kids. And of course, the Sunset Bar and Comfort Lounge, which I was headed back to. So as you can see, this ferry felt more like a cruise ship than a ferry and was an awesome way to cross the Baltic Sea. Make sure that you're subscribed to catch our next adventures in Helsinki, Finland. See you next time.